It's a physical game. Oh, 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 a monster jam by Blake The slam dunk is one of the most exciting plays in basketball. Dunking has progressed considerably over time. And every time we believe we've reached the pinnacle of the sport, someone comes along and raises the bar. Be sure to stick to the end of the video as we go through the top 8 greatest dunkers in NBA history. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Number 8. Jason Richardson After the dunking competition in 2000, when Vince Carter set new standards, Many thought that not even such an attractive dunker would appear. The denial came quickly in the form of Jason Richardson, who excelled in 2002 and 2003 when he won the titles. This basketball player had numerous variations when it comes to hammering the ball through his legs and windmills. He is considered the true successor of Dominique Wilkins. It is a pity that Carter and Richardson never competed against each other. Number 7. Blake Griffin Blake Griffin appears to have all of the athletic abilities that a basketball player might desire. He stands 6'9 tall, has great athleticism, and can score pass, and rebound. He was never recognized as a true superstar on par with the best, but his achievements speak for themselves. He was elected to the All-Star Game as a rookie, won the slam dunk contest, and was awarded Rookie of the Year. Griffin has an entire collection of posters throughout his career, but his dunks over Timothy Boskov and Kendrick Perkins are two of the most horrific physical plays in NBA history. The okay, are you kidding me? Number 6. Kobe Bryant Bryant will always be considered one of the best players of all time. Among his many incredible abilities, his dunking prowess is sometimes overlooked. He won the dunk contest at the age of 18 in 1997, making him the youngest player to ever do it. His in-game dunk resume is possibly the best of all time, including historic slams over Tim Duncan, Ben Wallace, Yao Ming, Dwight Howard, LeBron James, and others. Bryant goes to work. Bryant the drive! Number 5. Sean Kemp Kemp was phenomenal both during matches and in dunk competitions, which he still failed to win, and he tried as many as five times. Although after his career, he devoted himself to alcohol and had numerous health and legal problems, Kemp will be remembered for his masterful dunks, which are best summed up in a song dedicated to him by Pearl Jam, a cult band, and also a symbol of Kemp's Seattle. Point lead, five minutes left in the third. And Number 4. Julius Irving To date, several dozen players have managed to dunk from the free throw line. However, the first to do so was Julius Irving. The popular Dr. J did it in 1976 at the dunking competition of the then ABA League, and he repeated the same thing at the first dunking competition in the NBA 1984 when he was defeated by Larry Nance in the final. Then, as a 35-year-old to the delight of everyone in the hall in Denver, he took off from the penalty spot and dunked lightly. His dunks and matches will also be remembered, of which the one against the Lakers in 1983, which is called Rock the Baby, stands out. Number 3. Dominique Wilkins The windmill is one of the most attractive dunks in basketball. The player who first started dunking in this way is the legendary Dominique Wilkins. He had an incredible reflection and twice celebrated in the dunk competition five years apart, 1985 and 1990. 
At the end of his career, as an already worn out player and overweight, he played in Europe. But even then, he was attractively nailed in the Panathinaikos and Fortitudo jerseys, especially by European basketball standards. Wilkins, look out! <laughs> Number 2. Michael Jordan if we were to poll who is the best basketball player of all time, Michael Jordan would surely take the victory smoothly. And one of the favorites is in choosing the player with the best dunks. Even while playing at the University of North Carolina, it was clear that he was able to perform something in the air that had not been seen before. Although he is neither the first nor the last to dunk from the free throw line, he definitely did it in the most elegant and beautiful way. He participated in the dunk competition three times. He first lost to Dominique Wilkins in the 1985 final, but later won two titles. The first was in 1987, when he defeated the now-deceased Jerome Kersey in the final, and a year later when he took revenge on the All-Star in Chicago and took revenge on Wilkins. He was rightly nicknamed Flying at the earliest stages of his career. MJ. Oh, Harry did it! Hey, Michael shakes the finger! But he Number 1. Vince Carter he was a fantastic player, an eight-time All-Star player, played in the NBA Finals, won gold with the American team at the Olympics, is currently the 19th best scorer in league history, 25,728 points, and had a brilliant career. However, with respect to all of the above, Vince Carter will, above all, be remembered for his incredible dunks. The whole day needs to be set aside to watch all of the dunks of the popular Air Canada during his 22-year career on YouTube channels. However, the one from the finals of the 2000 Olympic Games in Sydney stands out when he literally jumped 218 centimeters tall Frenchman Frederick Weiss. The dunk competition that Vince won in 2000 is considered to be the most attractive ever seen. Then, in the final, he defeated Steve Francis and his cousin Tracy McGrady with five dunks. Unfortunately, Carter remained consistent in his decision never to take part in the dunk competition again. It is interesting that even when he entered the fifth decade, he continued to dunk lightly, which always met with the enthusiasm of his teammates and the audience that adored Uncle Vince everywhere. Carter with his first shot. Let's go home! Let's go home, ladies and gentlemen! Let's go home! Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, press the like button and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any new videos.